Hello, Eastgate Tiger Cubs. We are talking about our hermit crab activities that we have for you today. Today is Tuesday, May 19th. We are learning about hermit crabs. So the first thing it wants us to do is make a hermit crab craft. All of you should have a paper like this in your um, Ziploc bag. I want you to pull off the last two pages. So there's a shell and there's a hand. We're gonna pull these two pages off, okay? This is our first thing we're going to do. This is our hermit crab craft that we are going to work on. So I'm gonna look at these two. We're gonna start with the hand. This says, number one, cut out your hermit crab's head and set it aside. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my scissors, very carefully cut out my hermit crab's head. All right, be very careful that you do not cut off his eyes. So I'm gonna cut that out really quick. Do, 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 do. And I'm cutting really fast. You do not have to cut as fast as me, but just get his head cut out. This is step one of our hermit crab craft. Okay, I might cut some of the papers off so it's easier to cut. Keep it going. Can you guys tell what this is? This is actually Mrs. Mullen's hand that you have in there. That is what's going to be our hermit crab's head, is my hand. All right, I caught on the black lines. I got it cut out. I'm gonna be a scrap monster. I'm putting it on the floor. There we go. This is the first part. Now it said to set it aside, so I'm gonna set it over here. Number two, decorate the shell with polka dots and designs. So this is the fun part where you get to decorate your shell, okay? So I am going to, since I only have a pencil here, I might draw some hearts on it. I might draw some polka dots. Maybe I'll draw a smiley face. Maybe I just wanna draw a bunch of polka dots on here. Maybe another heart, maybe a star. I get to decorate this however I want. So number two, decorate the shell. If you have crayons or markers, go ahead and use those. Number three, cut out the shell, okay? Cut out the shell. So I'm gonna cut out my shell. I'm gonna cut around the black lines. Our shell is going to be like a big circle, okay? Do, 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 do. Around and around and around. Perfect, now I'm going to set that aside. I'm gonna look at number four. Glue the shell to your hermit crab's head. Be careful not to cover his eyes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on the floor and being a scrap monster. I'm gonna pretend that I got my glue stick out. And I am going to glue just like that. There you go, there is your hermit crab. When you are all done, it should look something like this. This is one that I finished before, just so you guys could see what it looks like. This is the back. I glued his head to the back of my shell. You can still see his eyeballs. See, I decorated it with a bunch of polka dots. You can do whatever designs you want, okay? So that is our hermit crab craft. Now, the second thing it wants us to do on here it says, house for a hermit crab sequencing activity. All right, this is also inside your hermit crab packet. Here it is, it's the second page. You can see that it says a house for a hermit crab and it has one through seven, okay? On the back of this, there is a paper that looks like this. You can go ahead and rip that off. Now, in order to do this paper, you need to listen to our read aloud. So you've got to listen to Mrs. Mullen reading us a really fun story called A House for a Hermit Crab. When you are all done doing that, you can glue these pictures in the correct order, okay? So you've got to make sure you listen very closely in the story because you've got to put these pictures in the right order. When you're all done gluing them on there, you can go ahead and color them if you would like, okay? Now, this is the last part. You've got to watch our math lesson 28, session two. I did a video on that, okay? We're gonna talk about little bears and teen numbers. And then the last thing is you've gotta do your daily challenge, which is to draw a picture of your hermit crab's house and send your teacher a picture of it, okay? Don't forget your ocean prompt. This one's really fun too. You get to write about what kind of hermit crab house you would like to have. 
All right, friends. Have a wonderful Tuesday. Bye-bye.